Hello, it's Mrs Herbert here um, and I am here to go through week five of your passport. It is the final week. Don't worry, I've not... I just really liked the monster on the page. So um, I hope you really enjoyed your message from Mr Moss. I'm sure you'll be missing him as well. And don't worry because you will get to see him next year. You will pop over when he's allowed to and say hello. And hopefully at some point we'll get break times and things where we can, where you can go and have a chat and a catch up with him too. Um, you'll find out more about them about the rules and what we can and can't do when we go back. Obviously, it's going to be a bit different to how you used to be in, but we're all in it together and we'll go through it all together at the beginning of term two. So, week five, final week, nearly time to come back to school. I am so excited about being able to get started with you and see you all. It's going to be brilliant, but you might have questions. So let's see what week five has got to offer to help you get ready for being back to school. Here we go. You ready? Let's flip it there. Ha, there he is. Right. So here we are. You've had your little. Um, you've had your little message from Mr. Moss. Look at him there. Bless his face. Right. And then we've got some memories. So the time at home has been very different. But it's also been time to make new memories. So we want you to create a little jar of memories and which you can look back upon. So you're going to decorate a jar in a box or jar or a box, sorry, and put little memories onto little slips of paper that you can bring. Um, well, maybe not bring the jar, but you can bring and bring your memories and talk to us about it. Now, this is something that I kind of started in lockdown about things that I wanted to do when we got out of lockdown. But it's also worked really nice as um, a memory jar as well. So I've decorated it with a little key on a little chain or a bit of twine. And there it is, a cute little thing. And it's been sitting on my bookcase over there. Um, it doesn't quite go on there because it's too far away. Anyway, so in this jar, I've got some nice memories and I'm going to put one more thing that I really enjoyed from last year um, about the Friday spelling discos. Um, I loved this with my class last year and it is something that I really want to do again this year because we listened to some awesome music, had some awesome dance moves and um, learnt some spellings along the way. So there we are, I've added one more to it. It's going to go in the jar. Ooh, lost it. Where is it? There he is. And he's going in my jar. Okay, so I've got that one. And if I'm ever feeling a little bit down, shall we put it back on the bookcase? If I'm ever feeling a little bit down, I love a wheelie chair, then um, I can have a look at my memories and enjoy them. Right, I'm back. Okay, so what else have we got here? Here we've got, going back to school is exciting, but sometimes when our brains are full of lots of questions, it takes over the excitement and it makes us feel worried or nervous. I know I feel like that sometimes. Um, when I'm thinking about, have I remembered everything? Have I done all the work I needed to do? Have I got all my equipment ready? There's quite a lot of things like that. So here is the question monster. Look at him. He's brilliant. There's us. Look at, so that, that's how big the question monster is. He's huge. Right, there's me and Mrs. McDonald though. Bit of a high five and a smile. Um, and it says here, the questions you could come up with could be questions about me, your new teacher, or Mrs. McDonald. It might be about the classroom. It might be your learning. It might be about the new the year group. And the idea is you put the questions inside the belly of the question monster and it, and he or she will look after them until you go back to school. So once they're out of your head, you don't need to worry about them anymore until you come back into school and then we can find some answers. So let's see what questions I've come up with that might help you think of some. So... First one, do you have any pets? I'll tell you when we're getting to school. In fact, if you've watched all the videos, you'll probably already know the answer to that. Unless, unless I've got a job, uh, unless I've got a, a pet over the summer. You never know. Um, you might want to know what is the code for the building, which I will tell you in September. Why is Mrs. McDonald going to teach us? Now I've explained that, but you might want to know a bit more information about it. That's fine. Will we go in a residential? That might be a question you want to ask. Will Miss Chester teach us? Might be a question you want to ask. So, there are lots and lots of questions for the monster that you might want to, um, you might want to name your monster if you want, I don't mind. Um, 
but stick your questions on there and keep it safe and then you can bring that in in September and and ask those questions and then he's looked after them she's looked after them you don't need to worry about it and you've saved yourself a lot of stress and a lot of wobble because you've already got your questions written down and I always find things better once you've written them down too so I hope that's been really helpful um, and that is the final page of your transition booklet and you've got your passport full and ready to come back to school so it's not going to be long until I actually see you in real life which is really exciting it's going to be a lovely year some things you might find tricky but don't worry we're all going to be together some things I'll find tricky hopefully you'll be able to help me out with that as well I just can't wait to get started I think it's going to be brilliant and I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again and getting to do some something that feels a bit more normal like coming to school and learning I can't I honestly can't wait so enjoy the rest of your week make sure you're still helping out with those chores and planning in some time to relax and thinking about your routine and staying organized and make sure you've got your equipment but most of all just enjoy being at home and being with family and being ready to come back to school and starting again in September take care and I will see you very soon Bye.